So you're thinking about purchasing online leads or trying out online leads to grow your business, but so many people say online leads suck, right? What's up guys, this is Enrique, team leader with PRG Real Estate brokered by eXp and I wanna talk to you about online leads and the reason why I see so many agents failing with online leads is because of three reasons, guys, and I wanna share those with you. So let's start with number one. Guys, it's the big picture. A lot of agents do not understand the big picture with online leads or leads in general. What an online lead is, whether it comes from Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, any of those websites, it's just an opportunity to get face to face with someone. It's someone who raised their hand and expressed some interest in either buying or selling a property. The same way that someone would show up to an open house, they're expressing interest in, in buying a property and it's an opportunity to get face to face. And what a lot of agents don't understand is that you have to nurture that lead. You have to build the relationship. That was the opportunity there to connect with this person. Now, what are you gonna do going forward? Um, you also gotta understand that if you look at your business as a whole, an online lead is just part of the funnel, the sales funnel in the beginning to get you know opportunities to come in. We call it attract, convert, deliver. We use you know, whether it's online leads, open houses, whether it's your friends and family, that's a way of getting people to come into your world. Then you gotta convert that, then you gotta deliver at a high level. So a lot of agents just don't unwrap their head around that, they don't understand the big picture, and that's why they fail, they get off to a bad start. Um, number two, guys, is a lot of people, agents out there who are failing with online leads, they don't have the right systems in place. You see, if you're gonna meet someone who inquires on a property, they may be looking to buy or sell in two weeks, in two months, in two years, there's a whole different spectrum with every single lead that you talk to. If someone says, I'm looking to you know, buy a house right now, most agents are gonna stop what they're doing and they're gonna focus on that lead right there. Then what happens when you get another online lead coming in tomorrow who's looking to buy or sell in three months, right? And then you get another lead the next day who's looking to do something in three weeks, you know? And a lot of agents just don't have the system set up to manage those leads, to nurture those leads at a high level. So that's where they go wrong is they go out and they purchase online leads without having a system built to handle these incoming leads. It's gonna be a numbers game, guys. You're gonna to have to talk to a lot of people and you're gonna meet them in the various stages of where they're at, depending on their timeline, and you have to make sure you stay top of mind and engage these clients all the way through the finish line. That's where people are going wrong. The last thing, guys, that I'm gonna leave with you is that a lot of people just have the wrong expectations when it comes to online leads. They think that you throw money at something, whether it's Zillow or you know, some sort of online lead source and automatically deals are gonna start pouring out. It doesn't work that way. There's a conversion process, there's a cycle for taking that lead from start to finish. There's a lot of things that have to happen for that person to choose to work with you. If they clicked on Zillow, what makes you think they're not clicking on a different website and talking to a different agent, right? So how are you gonna show value to that person? How are you gonna build that relationship? How are you gonna stay top of mind? and ultimately, how are you gonna get them to wanna to work with you? Um, I wanna give you guys some stats because there's a lot of people who say online leads suck or they don't work or it's a waste of time. But guys, our team has already closed uh, over 80 million worth of volume from online leads this year alone and the year's not even over. That's about $2 million in commission that was generated just from online lead sources. And the thing with online leads, guys, is you gotta understand that this is gonna be a a cold lead that comes in. You don't have an existing relationship with this person. Your job should be to convert that lead at a high level, deliver a world-class experience, make these clients a raving fan of yours, and then continue to nurture them after the sale. You now add this person to your database, and guess what? It's no longer an online lead at that point. There's referrals that come from it. This person is now part of your sphere of influence. This is one of your past clients and you gotta nurture that relationship and carry that forward. So if you're thinking about you know, exploring online leads, purchasing online leads, signing up for one of these referral websites, you need to understand all of these things first before you go in there because I promise that's where you're gonna waste your time, that's when you're gonna go wrong, you're not gonna convert these leads at a high level if you don't have all of these things in place. If you need help with this topic, guys, you know our team is bringing in probably over 500 opportunities every single month from different online lead sources. 
and we're converting at a high level. Reach out to me and I can give you some tips and see if we can help you out, guys. Hope you have a good day. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you soon. Peace.